contest has been amazing so far, and it's only going to continue. Sir. Let's meet our final heat of skaters. At the end of this, we'll find out. We're going to kick it off, though, with the man, the myth, the legend from Australia, Shane O'Neill. Run number one. Shane's a guy, the guy to beat. The guy to beat. The most technical skateboarder, in my humble opinion, in the world. Can do the most immensely technical tricks on a dime. He's kind of, kind of recovering from a little bit of an injury, but he said he's feeling really good. He's just 90 odd percent, not 100 percent. Kind of can't try a couple of the tricks he'd like to do, but 90 percent for Shane O'Neill is 150 percent for most people. So if he slows it down, he'll probably do just as good. That's how technically skilled this guy is. And you can see it right away. Look how many tricks he's getting in and look how easy he's just throwing them out. Jeez. So that's Shane O'Neill not real. That's Shane O'Neill just mucking about right there for his first run. Just to get a score on the board. Jeez. That was amazing. Just to give you guys perspective, Shane just showed up, rode around the course about once or twice, did similar tricks to what you're looking at right now, and then just dropped in and did this run. Why is that? Because he's that good. Just and it's not to save ego, it. it's not anything like that. It's, he's that good. He's confident. So, right now, the average score to get into eighth is a 7.8. He gets an 8.8, .8, way above average. <laughs> that makes me, that is, I'm smiling. That's our highest run of the day, and that's that's his safety run right there. That's a warm-up run. So Yvonne's got an 8.5, Chaz has an 8.3, and Tom Asta has an 8.1. That's how it's decided when there's a tie like that. So right now, Yvonne in seventh, Chaz in eighth, and Tom in ninth. Shane O'Neill back on course. Steps it up a little bit, but that's rich big spin. Starts off with the big spin front board. He's got two technical tricks in there already. Just the way that he rolls across the course is different. Just two two trick combos, like that 360 kickflip and the trick he did after it. He just got three tricks in there in a matter of seconds. There's four. He's got ten seconds in there. Oh, didn't see that coming. Nolly front side heel. But he made everything else. If he can get one more trick in, that is not one fall. And that run still, again, I hurt quicker than that first run, but still, just Shane O'Neill warming up, cruising around before he explodes on the course with those single tricks. He looks so unfazed by competition. There's that crooked grind Nolly kickflip. A lot of viewers have seen that past SLS contests. Scoring 7-9, 16.7 overall, moves him up into 25th place. Yeah, things are looking pretty good so far. <laughs> Score 8.8 .8 to 7.9 as we make our way into our five best tricks. Here's Shane. Yeah. Ah, just stomp that out of that crook grind. What's going through the crowds, man? They've never seen Shane O'Neill live. They've never seen this level of skateboarding live. Look at that. Flicks out. He, he caught it before thing he even started to drop. He knew he made that right. He was riding up. That's how confident he was. 8.7. Shane is looking really good, even after coming back from this ankle surgery. He said he feels really good. He said he's 100%. He's just... That little gray zone where you're right up to speed, but you just need a minute to kind of ease into this level, right? Absolutely. Well, he's he got thrown to the Lions today. Well, he set that standard, you know? Shane O'Neill coming in for attempt number two. Ooh. That's a long double set for that short run-up, especially to take off Nolly into it. Lose that distance right when you pop off the Nolly. Like I'm flamingo. flamingo Bitches hit me up like I just want bingo, bingo, bingo. Yeah, these bitches, yeah, these bitches love my lingo, my lingo. But on earth though, I'm a gringo You got followers like a mini And those boys be acting silly They be coming
nothing like no tomorrow So I mean like they made a war But in reality you kinda lame Everything you do is for the fame He did, but it's it's cool to see him using a different part of the course that nobody else is touching. Back to the top with Shane. Again, same issue. Didn't quite get that pop off the nose. That runoff is really messing with people. It's short, double sets long. So we'll see what he does now. Shane's got three scores on the board. He has to put something down. Oh, ooh, this is definitely not the Shane that we are used to. Super interesting that he is still going for the double set versus going for the ledge where we know he excels. Moving on now, this right here. He has to make something or else we are not gonna see Shane O'Neill in the finals. Looks like he's gonna go for the double set again. We've seen no luck, three attempts in a row. He's shaking his head right now though. Is he confident? Is he gonna get this? And it does no! not get it. He does not, that means we are not gonna see Shane O'Neill in the finals. Opening up a huge opportunity. That is a major upset wow. going into the finals. So we are heading into the finals very shortly without Nyjah Houston and without Shane O'Neill. This is going to be a very different finals than we are used to. Well, it's the Pro Open.